So I said this this mantra. I was like, I don't know, might have been eighteen lines. Yeah, yeah. I gave yeah. myself one line a week. I'm attracting the highest, truest love into my life. Oh God, I feel so emotional. Yeah, no, for sure. Mm. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Because I feel, when you say it, you say it with power. You say it with an unction. Like, I feel it in my spirit. I, oh, I feel Even it. when I didn't mm -hmm. believe it, mm -hmm. I said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even when I didn't believe it, the man, I said it. You put that faith to the test. One line at a time. Mm -hmm. One line at a time. Welcome to the Inner Circle. This episode is sponsored by M Club. Co-working space by day, event space by night. This space is perfect for your upcoming celebrations. Whether it's a small intimate gathering, a dinner, celebrating a milestone, or looking to do a corporate event, this is the space where you want to be. It's modern, chic, minimalistic, so you can really have fun with your creativity. Also, if you are an entrepreneur, small business owner, or looking to just get out the house and get away from that home office, M Club is a co-working space really set for you. From uh, amazing amenities to a personal gym and having on-site chefs to really feed your needs for lunch, snacks, whatever it is, they've got you covered. So come on in, check it out today, and book your tour at hello at mworldclub.com. It is another episode, y'all, of The Inner Circle. We're in the month of February, and y'all know we're talking all things black and love today. Mm -hmm. Today. I got a special, special guest with me. Are y'all ready for this conversation? I'm not, I'm not sure if you're ready, but let me introduce you to, I'm gonna introduce you to the one and the only, Miss Julie Black. Well, hello. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Uh, hello. 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 It's giving glowing energy on the set right now. It's, it's giving we're glowing because it's newness this year. It's newness. We, we just talked about that. We just said, what did we say? You can't put, put new, old, wine new wine in, in old wine skin. skin. Period. Because we're talking about new levels in 2024. Mm -hmm. Listen, I am so excited for this conversation. Um, how did we meet? Oh my God, through- um, Curly Girl. Curly Girl Meetup, yes. And yeah. that was such an experience. Listen, you had no idea what I was going through that day. Mm. And God closed the chapter that night. And I think you kind of ushered into that. Yeah. Because I went home that night and that was the night I severed a tie. Mm. Officially. And it was a it was a hard season from then till now. So yeah. the fact that like, we're re-meeting, as you could say, yeah. on the other side of the trauma is a beautiful thing. And I'm really excited to have you here. Thank so you. So I, I don't know, Julie, where do you want to start, girl? Well, you're blooming, yeah, you know, and seeing, you. even seeing the flowers. Yes. I, I think what's coming to mind right now is mm -hmm. when you think that you're being buried, mm. you're really being planted. Oof. Because all of that right? root work. All that root work. And sometimes that that seed, you know, mm -hmm. we're asking for all types of things, mm -hmm. but not realizing that the seed needs to be planted. Mm -hmm. the, need, the seed needs to stay in the cold, mm -hmm. dark earth. Yeah. And the seed needs to break. Mm. Girl, I, I was- They're ready for the church. <laughs> They're ready for the sermon because, today. Because I was literally watching something yesterday mm -hmm. and it was like, the thing that they don't tell you about seed is that it needs to die to live. Hey. <laughs> they ready. <laughs> 
I said, that is the hardest lesson, but it's the most beautiful process. Right. Because even though it's ugly and all the dirt and all that, you're, you're shedding, mm -hmm. but you're also spreading. Like God is I love doing that. a new thing. And then when it, when it buds mm -hmm. and it blooms. And it blooms. What it looks like under the dirt is not what it looks like above the dirt. Yeah, and you know what else? Just just to mm -hmm. piggyback off of what you're saying, mm -hmm. is it's being able to acknowledge and recognize mm -hmm. that that process mm -hmm. is an individual process. That part. The seeds aren't there with their brethren. The seeds, it has to be alone. Absolutely. You that and God. Separation, right? But that separation season, that's what I, I, I definitely want to talk there. I want to, because I'm, I'm, I love to hear stories from from, from, I don't want to say horse. From, I don't want to say from the horse's mouth. You know. But like, that's the expression. But I like to hear stor stories from the source. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Right, right. So I'm just like, I want to know, like, has there been a season where um, you ha God had to separate you in order for you to bloom? And like, what did that look like for you? <sighs> Whew, I didn't, I, funny enough, yeah. I didn't, I, uh, huh. <laughs> sorry, that's I, where he led me. I'm yeah, so yeah, no, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. There was a season where the only way mm -hmm. God could save me from myself and from mm -hmm. a toxic, narcissistic relationship mm -hmm. was to assign me to become my mom's caregiver. Oh, my God. To be at her bedside mm -hmm. uh, when she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Jesus. And it wasn't until then, after mm -hmm. nine years oh my God. in this one relationship, mm -hmm. that I instantly realized I needed to reprioritize mm -hmm. my emotions and that it could be done yeah 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 in an instant mm. so that separation gave you a glimpse that there was there's another side like there's another way if that makes sense that's a, yeah that separation gave mm -hmm. me the revelation mm -hmm. that we have a measure mm -hmm. of breath <laughs> And as simple as that, as simple as that. Mm -hmm. and are we going to spend mm -hmm. this? Imagine this, this, these, imagine your breath is dollars. Yeah. Cause it is. Yeah. Life has value. It does. Right. Mm -hmm. So imagine these dollars mm -hmm. you're spending on worry, mm -hmm. on fear, on, anxiety. you know, anxiety, mm -hmm. on anger, on mm -hmm. resentment, yeah, yeah. on unforgiveness mm -hmm. and, you know, self hurt, all yeah. the things you're, yeah, you're yeah. spending this. Yeah. Now you're in overdraft. Yeah. Absolutely. But then in an instant, the woman who yeah, breathed yeah. breath into me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I needed capacity. Oh, man. I needed the energy. Mm -hmm. The love. The love. Mm. The love. The self-awareness. Mm -hmm. To say, wait, wait, wait. I can't, how am I allocating mm -hmm. all of this time and energy yeah. and fear and frustration on this person? Yeah, yeah. That has been, that put up a mirror though. Can we get into projection and reflection? Let's, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. in that season, yeah. that's how I was able to realize, wait, Julie, mm -hmm. for what? To say you have man? Yeah, no, that, that, that yeah. Mm -hmm. For what? To say, you're not are you alone. not alone? Oh, Thanks. you're not alone. I'm Listen. And it's like, where does that guilt come from? Like, why do we feel like we have the need to say that? as a like but then in turn you're sacrificing your whole self like your whole I, life just to say just to say i'm not alone and it's just like right. the truth is you were never alone hey and you actually don't notice that until you get away from the toxicity the right relationships will make you realize that there is life even beyond them hello <laughs> let me but, just but when you get into the let me not place. blush down the place because <laughs> yeah don't Julie. anyway <laughs> people are, why are you blushing just let me why just leave blushing? it there because there's mm -hmm. privacy and there's yeah, secrecy absolutely absolutely yeah that part hello and we just talked about uh secrecy in the last episode and how toxic it is but like there is a level like where you have to be like no this privacy. is privacy like yeah, you don't need yeah. to know but no like i um it's funny because one of the questions i i had for you was like one of the first questions, and I know you didn't get these ones, but one of the questions was like, well, share ready, a girl. story. Mm -hmm. Like who, as a black woman, mm -hmm. like in your family, who was the figure, and it may very well be your mom, that you looked up to as like, wow, like this is the beauty and the strength of what a black woman is. Like who mm. was that for you? That's when was that moment? My late sister, Sharon. Oh, wow. Um, gone too soon. She mm -hmm. passed away at 24. Oh my God. Um, but my condolences. Thank you. Thank you. But growing up, seeing her take agency yeah. over her 
love life, her education, mm -hmm. her anything that she wanted to do, she mm -hmm. did. And what she didn't, what I appreciated most about my sister mm -hmm. is that no is a complete sentence. <sighs> and she left relationships mm -hmm. in an instant. I yeah. saw a man come to the door, <laughs> knock door and cry <laughs> and beg. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not even trying to be like, because no, it's not, because sure. this is this is the era of the yeah. being, being safe, seen, and soft, yeah, right? Period. We'll talk about the three S's <laughs> yeah. after. But mm -hmm. seeing my sister decide, I'm not going to repeat what mom did. Yeah. I'm not going to repeat what the aunties did. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stay just to say. Yeah. Right? And there's a big difference between being single and being an individual. Yeah. And my sister Sharon, I wish I actually graduated from her class a bit sooner. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. that she lived longer. Yeah, for sure. I would have had more of those lessons. Mm -hmm. um, because on the flip side, my mom just decided not to love again. Yeah. Not to be yeah. in a relationship mm -hmm. again, right? Mm -hmm. And she poured all her love into her kids and into community, which is also great. Mm -hmm. But I think too few black women are actually sitting saying, you know what, there are great men. Yeah. And we do um, desire to yeah. be soft. We Absolutely. do desire Absolutely. to be led. We do desire to be your helpmeet. We do yeah. desire to submit. You know, to submit. We don't have a problem with that. Right? So right my sister Sharon, place. to answer directly, yeah. is the best example of a woman mm -hmm. and a black woman yeah. who says, you know what? No, this isn't serving me. Yeah. This relationship isn't serving yeah. me. We're unequally yoked. Mm -hmm. Right? I want more for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to keep you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not here to... To get, get you uh, together. To, yeah, and, and, and enable enable yeah. some of your toxic Toxicity. masculinity. Yeah. All the mm -hmm. stuff. And that was way back when. Mm -hmm. My you know, my bestie Usher and I on the way yeah. here, we were talking about humans haven't changed. No. Listen. It's the same. We're just there's, wiring, there's, just, a, there's just a magnifying right? glass right now on yeah. certain traits. But yeah, absolutely. Right. And it's funny you said that because my you when you're talking to life like my sister is just like that. Uh, I, I love it. Um, my sister, I'm not going to tell her business or her story, but like she was a no nonsense like that. Like she's dealt with a lot of different kinds of relationships. Mm -hmm. But like one thing she was really good was just like, no, it's not for me. It's not for me. And I'm just like, not you for are me. so, I need this level of, Gwe from me. Just, gwe. I, I need the flicker. Right? I'm like, give me this. Okay, we might need to put a translation on there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> enter subtitles. Gwe from me. <laughs> go on. <laughs> this is one of those. Because right. honestly, the truth is, it's like, sometimes we put ourselves to unnecessary pain. Oh, and gosh. Unnecessary heartache. And mm -hmm. it's just like, first of all, you deserve better than this. Right. And sometimes the tr the problem with that is it's just like who set that standard for what you think you're worthy of? Well, this is this is you must we must be like plugged into <laughs> sharing a brain right now because mm -hmm. what I've come to realize at mm -hmm. this stage and this beautiful age of 46 years old, yeah, and four years to 50, yeah, I'm so excited no, for no it. Day, oh, it, it no crack, it, period. It, it, no, it, crack, no crack, black, no crack, and Julie, black, no crack. Yeah, period. Okay, <laughs> back to my <myself. laughs> Um So Julie. <laughs> So what I've um, come yeah. to realize is mm -hmm. I didn't see my mom loved on. Oh. I didn't see mm -hmm. my father mm -hmm. um, protect and provide mm -hmm. for my mother and the family. And it's mm -hmm. not this isn't a smear campaign. No, 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 no. I hear you, though. Because the, the man that comes to, you know, is supposed to ask my father for, you know, the blessing to take yeah, yeah, care yeah. of mm -hmm. your so this is where I've, i in therapy and i'm like okay mm -hmm. so you kids learn by seeing yeah and i have friends sure. who are in awesome families yeah and s actually saw it yeah yeah for right sure. but s for some reason chose a different route yeah right yeah oh yeah. wow so they were they were in close proximity mm -hmm. and got direct access to seeing the beauty of black love mm -hmm. and, and or just love, love in general, in general. Right. and 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 they decided they didn't want it. I don't think it was Is even a decision. Oh, no? I think it's a matter of mm -hmm. environment. Well, okay. Um, your surroundings. Yeah. Not your inner circle. Yeah, that part. Who you who you give access to. And to, influence. And to influence. And I think yeah. it's really, there's a level of um, study. There's a level of education mm -hmm. around this. Yeah. That I'm learning in this stage of my life where it's like, you know what? How, we're, what about the psychology of things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Absolutely. Because we can't negate that, mm -hmm. especially with all that. And I, I can only speak as a black woman as, from the black community, like all the trauma mm -hmm. that comes through the generations. It's right. like you, you have to do your study on the psychology behind certain behaviors. Right. So it's like, why is this 
this and no other race is dealing with this issue right. but like really studying like the root and that's yeah. one thing like I've I've really done in this season like mm. even if it's just self awareness well, and getting huge. to the root of why I am the way I am what why I react the way I react to certain things like mm. sometimes people are just living so aimlessly with no self awareness and no understanding right. of how to you can't develop from a place you don't understand you know what I mean? Yeah, like I, I actually love that you're saying self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Sorry to interject because no, for sure. there's a big self-love movement happening. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's like self-love and I'm at the yeah. spa and self-love. Yeah. I, I spoke about this at yeah. the other event. It's like there's self-love and there's self-maintenance. Yeah. Right? So That so art. You, what you think is self-love is actually self-maintenance. Mm -hmm. That's you basically getting an oil change for your, yeah. for your body. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like a tire rotation. For sure. Right? But really, the self-love is the therapy, is the journaling. Mm -hmm. The is reading. the accountability mm -hmm. is really like that. You got to hit that, that rock bottom. My mom used to say, well, you can't go further than the ground. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, no, and honestly. then it's time to build from there. Yeah. You see what I'm no, saying? Absolutely. And I feel like that correlates to, um, my idea of what femininity is because mm. there's also a whole movement going on about oh femininity and soft life and all this stuff but it's just like people people equate femininity with external Aesthetics. appearance yeah, 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 yeah. and all of that but it's like it's really the inner work and I talked about this on um, I think like two episodes ago I mm. talked about um, femininity is rooted in understanding the beauty of who you are as a woman mm -hmm. and activating that as a power mm. not as not for manipulation but for like really optimally being a nurturer optimally right. being a helpmate like i feel like and then in turn it will it will it will reflect outwardly mm. but like if you don't work on the inner work if you don't get to the root if you don't understand why you why you are the way you are and then understand how you're supposed to be wired in a sense like mm. no don't get me wrong everybody's unique but there is a prime understanding of what w womanhood is and yeah, you know what i mean yeah i think that some i think that some humans who mm -hmm. you know who um, <laughs> who identify as women yeah. have skipped over the fact that or i what i fundamentally believe mm -hmm. is that where your pain point is, where the trauma happened is where you still are. Yeah. Mentally. Yes. You are so, only as, that you are emotionally as old as your last trauma. Right. Is what you're saying? Okay. Basically. Yes. And so your last trauma could have been your, when you're 12, 12 and I'm now 46. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> and so I think that, you know, words are tossed around femininity, mm -hmm. womanhood, mm -hmm. and we're all little girls at the end of yeah. the day and little boys. And mm -hmm. so rather than even focus on, for me, focus on, femininity yeah. and woman power and all the things because that's still in mm -hmm. my opinion mm -hmm. it's still resistance energy mm -hmm. and it still has a motivation around it that mm -hmm. isn't always authentic that's true so it's like it's your representative showing up mm. okay. and that's where for me i realized that some of us go through life mm -hmm. doing 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 mm -hmm. doing and haven't figured out how to just be but that's the problem. But that's what I'm saying. Because for me, that's that's what I'm saying. The issue with femininity is because mm. people make it be like, oh, femininity means soft. No, that mm. doesn't that doesn't necessarily mean that's what feminine. Because then, is. what does soft mean exactly. relative to who? Exactly. To what culture? To what age? To what I'm lived like, experience? That's a fact. It's and when subjective. You, when you even the soft life thing, it's just like. I'm sorry, hardships and trials and tribulations come. <laughs> so I don't know about. I'm like I I, I want to be a soft. I'm like, I want to be a soft girl in, in, in my, in the confines of my relationship and in the confines of my family in safe spaces. I want to be soft, but there are times where I need to be assertive and there are times where I need to, I need to not just be, you know, just push over and I need to just, I need to be the alpha I am. I'm not going to sit around here and be like, oh, I'm a beta woman. No, I'm mm. not. Okay. <laughs> my alpha needs an alpha. Let's talk about that. Like I mean, my alpha I needs an alpha. Right. Well, that's, <laughs> and you have identified what you need. Mm -hmm. Right. And maybe mm -hmm. in the next decade of your life, that could change. Mm -hmm. So I think that for most of us mm -hmm. who are um, sitting in a space where you're like, well, this, what I say that I want for myself yeah. hasn't been happening. Yeah, that part. I'm the common denominator. Yeah, for sure. Who do I need to become mm -hmm. to become who I really want to be? Mm. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. Who do I need to become 
to become yeah. who I really desire to be. Mm. And just let that sit. Over here. Look at him over here. Just, just let it marinate up. for a second. Yeah. Not what do I need to do? Because what I'm hearing. Yeah, it's the who, not it's the, the what. It's the who. Okay. Yes. So, because what I'm hearing mm -hmm. sometimes, and even in just this flow, mm -hmm. it's like, well, I have to be this. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to push over. And I, and I, mm -hmm. That's resistance energy. Mm. It's actually, and some of it is probably potentially still rooted in some of that pain. Mm. Right? What my mom used to say, the old mm. Jamaican woman, mm. sometimes you have to play fool to catch wise. And the great Pamela Anderson said, <laughs> it's going to be so random. <laughs> it's fine. Go ahead. What she said. You can't be a dumb blonde to play a dumb blonde. Mm. Okay? So, a lot of us are going through life. Mm. Okay? And we're able to achieve and acquire. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're ambitious enough, mm -hmm. you, could, you, could make any, you could make anything happen. Yeah. My... Um, my challenge, for lack of a better term right now, mm -hmm. or my ask, yeah. is to how many of us are faithful enough mm. to allow mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. to show you how beautiful it can be when we don't make that decision first. We don't run to make that decision first. Could we take a beat? Yeah. Could we take a beat? So it's almost like... um. Cause I'm, 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 I'm thinking like, and I, it's funny cause Tim Ross says this, but so do I, like I see things in pictures. Yeah. So like, it's almost like, because what I've noticed and what, what I've learned in 2023, mm. what, what 2023 taught me if nothing, cause it was ghetto, but what it did teach me mm -hmm. was that there is a strength in rest and oh, just yeah. being. And so what I'm hearing is like sometimes we're just always going and we're trying mm, to achieve, there you go, achieve and achieve. And it's just there like you go. sometimes you just sit and be still and really just discover, listen, hear, and, and let. And yeah. Let. And just yeah. See that that's a very small word with mm -hmm. a very powerful meaning. Mm -hmm. Let. Yeah. Oh, man. Allow. Yeah. So what is that? What for you, what did that look like? And when did you discover all of this? Hmm. I think my biggest discovery of letting and allowing mm -hmm. was flipping the word in the national anthem. Period. Period. Because you did that. Right. And I'm saying that to say I moved away from how could I make this sound like Whitney and the best anthem yeah, ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To allowing myself to be used as a vessel of change. Period. I love Period. that. Mm -hmm. A conduit, a bridge, mm -hmm. right? And not expecting do you see that, that you yeah. see that expectation yeah. you see the spirit mm -hmm. of expectation mm -hmm. like there's expectant faith yeah you should, for sure from like, God, like but i say to god whatever yeah, whatever yeah. your beliefs are i say to god i'm gonna look right now no, i say god sure. mm -hmm. i'm gonna talk to you mm -hmm. for the sake of your reputation yep i need you to work this out for me that part. on your timing mm -hmm. for the sake of your reputation yeah his reputation because that's the thing because Cause that's that's what people don't understand. Like when you when you serve God, it's like it's it's no longer it's no longer me. Like you gave me this, mm -hmm. so if it fails, God, then either I did something wrong or I, I heard wrong. But at the end of the day, if you give it to me, it cannot fail. Come on, hold on. Let's, let me just let's just pull that back for a second. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> because we're putting fail. What's failure? That's what I'm saying. What is failure? He won't fail. All right, but this is where we have to unchurch. Yeah, this is the period. We have to unchurch. Mm -hmm. There's probably not a word in the dictionary called no, unchurch. No, no, it's fine, but we get it. But we're we doing get the, it. <laughs> we get it. The sanctified dictionary. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Because when you think, yeah, because he won't fail us. He won't fail. He brought it. He brought you to it, so he bring you through mm -hmm. it. I feel like God's like, okay, go on. Yeah, but do you think? <laughs> do you think? Is it me? I'm over but here. Do you feel like that? The same place. That sometimes happens because we we try to be the gods of our own lives. That part, and we chat too much. That's a, that's a fact. I said the other day, I put on one of my stories. Um, basically, be careful who you, who you give access mm. to the, what was it again? Basically, who, who you let know your dreams type the thing. The vision. Right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. the, the blueprint. Yeah. There's a blueprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has been, that, from the beginning of time, since we were stitched in our mother's womb. Yeah. Right? The blueprint, you know. Mm -hmm. All of us were given, there's a scripture that says, um, for God has given each of you some special abilities. It's, yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's like uh, 1 Peter 4.10. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. For God of giving born back. Let me drop scripture. Yeah, no, period. For, <laughs> I think it's a, go check the Bible. And it's in the Corinthians, the it's, in, Bible. it's in Corinthians as well. It's when it right? talks about the spiritual gifts. So it says, yeah, so God has, for God has given each of you some special abilities. Mm -hmm. Be sure to use them to help each other. other. Yep. Mm -hmm. Passing on to others mm -hmm. God's many kinds of blessings. Mm -hmm. The problem that's happening is people ain't using it to help each other. That's that. Let's just pause. Pause. That. <laughs> Pause. There's so much self gratification mm -hmm. and like mm -hmm. self exalting, mm -hmm. and it's just mm -hmm. like this is not how a body functions, mm -hmm. and that that's really that's the root of it. Like the when you we're in the Bible now, so here we are. But when you talk about the body of Christ, it's just like everyone. He says like every in in the body, everything has its own function. That's right. And and, and right. people like to think, he's just like, don't think some things less significant than other mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Because I I always say this, because I'm like, if you cut off somebody big toe and them can't turn up. It's, it's ba can't baby toe wasp. Ba yeah, <laughs> war. If I'm saying so I'm like, you think that little thing is insignificant, yeah. but you have to learn to rewalk again. Like right. it's, it's just certain things, like everything has a purpose and everything is intertwined. We can't live selfishly right like everything has to be for a greater purpose and i think when you changed the national anthem mm. it was bigger than you oh five thousand percent so like it was just like i didn't do this so that julie could get recognition mm -hmm. from the country no i did this because one mm -hmm. it was in your spirit and heart to do two it was the right thing to do mm -hmm. and it was just like it's bigger than me Ju yeah. julie you're not, you're not indigenous so you never have to do it. Right, right, right. <laughs> but, I th this, but, I, but go ahead. No, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say that I, I think what I realized, especially in this conversation, because I love that you get the downloads in the flow of the conversation, mm -hmm. is my prayer language changed. Yeah. Like I was asking, mm -hmm. you know, I've been making music for 29 years. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I want to be international and mm -hmm. I want to, you know, sell these records. I need yeah. to be on radio. I need to be on TV. I need mm -hmm. all the things were, and I had to ask myself why. Yeah. So what are these, what am I asking? Why mm -hmm. am I asking for these things? These things, exactly. What's the point, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so as, as the assignment came to even yeah. do the anthem, mm. the question I asked myself and I question, the question I ask every, everybody mm -hmm. is how do you make what you're doing meaningful? I don't yeah. care if you're working at Tim Hortons. Yeah. How do you make it that meaningful? Part. Everywhere mm -hmm. you, how do you make your days meaningful? And yeah. it's going to be times, don't get no, it twisted, sure. that you don't feel all the things, right? In fact. But give yourself grace. Yep. Yeah. And even in those times, I think that's what, those are the times that make us human. I, like, I remember all the, like, for the, uh, uh, the, la the latter half of 2023, I, was, I wasn't doing much mm. because I was healing. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I feel like I'm useless. Like, mm. I'm not useless, but like, like, I wasn't doing much with my days. Mm -hmm. And I kept hearing God saying, I need you to rest. And I'm just like, it's, it's, for what? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it's not doing anything. And in resting, like, when I actually just, caved in I'm like all right let me let me actually rest the way you intended it mm. Cause sometimes we, we think we're resting and your mind is still running oh, yeah. but I said let me let me rest and let me actually be still here we are right because Hello. because sometimes it looks like the rest worked <laughs> out right that's what I'm saying because sometimes it's like you have to trust God's timing and God said I'm you're you're not gonna do much for the rest of the year mm. I'm, I'm you're gonna heal mm. for the rest of the year mm -hmm. because what I need to do through your healing is bigger than you I need right. you to settle down so I right. can actually download into you what it is I'm putting in you for that other people need. Yeah. And That's that right. has been like one of the, it's like one of my, it's fear, I'm going to use the word fear, but one of my biggest fears mm -hmm. in life is always like, is like not living a life that he's pleased with. Okay. Because like, for me, life is bigger than just me. Of course. It's like we come here, we're all here for a reason, for a time, for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Just like how you said with your late sister, how she impacted you. She yeah. is... Like her life, though cut short, it had purpose yeah. and it had impact. So, and and she wouldn't know that. Well, I don't know, but like she she impacted you, and then you, even after she's gone, continue to sing the praises of her story. Hundred percent. Like you Always see how was. meaningful Legacy. it was. So yeah. it's just like I think like we have to focus and build a culture on just being better about doing things that for for more than ourselves. Yeah, and don't waste the pain. Oh, don't waste the pain. That. Don't waste the pain. Mm -hmm. Turn that pain to purpose, to yeah. possibility. Yeah. Turn your grief to greatness. <laughs> like so all good. the things. I'm a walking, living, breathing testament. Mm -hmm. Finch girl through and through. For those who don't know, Jane and Finch, Google it, pop, pop. Um, but <laughs> Listen, all Scarborough's from Time G. <laughs> and, and once upon a time, we couldn't sit across from each other. I know. So let's really be, yeah. let's call that spade a spade. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
And I think it's important that we, mm -hmm. as women and black women, go through life um, editing. Yeah. There's some editing that needs to be yeah. done, mm -hmm. right? And recognizing that uh, there's a big difference between seniority and loyalty. Yeah. And not everybody from your past is, needs to be in your present. That part. Right? Or your future. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's okay. When I say it's okay, mm -hmm. 2023, I edited mm -hmm. more than double digits out of my life in right. people and including relatives, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. I have a chosen family. Yeah. And and that's good because mm -hmm. I, 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 the girl, I wish I edited it. God edited it for me. I'm like, where are they going? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Where are they going? Yeah, but it was like, it was needed. And it was like, I even tell people, I'm like, this season looks very different than the first mm -hmm. one in it. This first one was, was big grown tape. And it was just like, not to say all of those relationships are severed, but some of them aren't the way they used to be. And sometimes you have to shift. Like it's okay. a constant upgrade, Yeah, but it's an upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm, I, my, my voice, my tone changed because, mm -hmm. um, because I guess I'm just not even focused on the upgrade. Yeah. For me personally. Yeah. No, for sure. I hear because you. Because there's so, like when you look at what's happening in the world mm -hmm. and the fact that we are so privileged mm -hmm. and yeah. just the opportunity to even take a breath, to even sit sure. in front of you to speak about it. I mm -hmm. love that we're speaking about it. I love mm -hmm. that you're unapologetically you and bold and saying all the things. Mm -hmm. I think we're very, we're, I think we mirror each other in that way. Yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I can appreciate, what mm -hmm. I love is that if I had you at 16, I could be your mom. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and so what I, I love is that you know, I think more of us need to have these conversations yeah. where it's each one teach one and it's sure. each one reach one, Absolutely. right? Because you're the way you are. I wish at 30 mm -hmm. that I, I could have, that was the beginning of the narcissistic relationship right. that I didn't realize, mm -hmm. right? So, but no time is wasted. No, you nothing know, wasted. I said it in my legacy speech of one of these yes. mantras. We start over as often as is necessary. Yep. Because we're not starting from scratch. We're mm -hmm. starting from experience. Girl, that thing right? me. I was an artist. I said, you better preach. Right. Where's my offering? You see <laughs> what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, hey, no one can, no one. You can't go to school and get a doctorate mm -hmm. for experience. No, absolutely not. You have to live it. It's hard, right? Because... Like you said, like we're at, we're, cause, because we are at two different stages and I think we come from two different generations mm -hmm. too. So it's just like, one thing I've always tried to pride myself on mm -hmm. is like always, even in the posture of anybody, but I, cause I have a lot of different generations around me. I, even if I'm confident in an area, like if I'm, if I'm going to be corrected, I love to keep the posture of a student because mm -hmm. I feel like we're always Same. learning. You know 100%. what I mean? And it's true. Cause when you just said, I don't know if I look at it as an upgrade, I'm just like, it's true because it didn't necessarily feel like one. Mm. To be honest, I just think it was a transition. Ah, uh, there you go. Because there you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. You. Hello. <laughs> thank you. Hello. <laughs> thank you. So y'all no, just seen God rebuke me and Ju through Julie <laughs> on <laughs> camera. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, like, what a rebuke! But I you, I receive it because it's like sometimes depending on the season you're being taken into, mm -hmm. everybody just can't go. And yeah. sometimes God will separate you for a season just, just, just so you can have clarity mm -hmm. and download. And sometimes there's more work to do because sometimes we get, sometimes the separation is not because people are bad. Sometimes you just get too comfortable. So we stop it's growing. It's called liberty. Mm. Sometimes we give them liberty and sometimes we take liberty. Yes. Right? <laughs> there's enough liberty. And what I, what I'm learning and it's, I'm in the process. Mm -hmm. And I learned that through being, becoming a coach and being coached that mm -hmm. if you could just hold on to the word I'm in the process, Yeah, then you'll continue to evolve Absolutely. And, and be in the process, right? There's no absolutely. end point until you, you're, you're, it's time to be called home, right? No, absolutely. But when I say, just to go back to that about upgrade for a second, mm -hmm. I realized that the hurt mm -hmm. was allowing me to have, to let others mm -hmm. um, live rent-free in my mind. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. And <laughs> no more living rent free yeah. in my mind. Yeah. Like yeah. 70,000 thoughts a day. Yeah. That. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the only voice is ours in there. Yeah. Like really take that in. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Mm-mm. Jilly had my man, my nigga. If you <laughs> hear my voice in a fear head, yeah. when those thoughts are saying, I don't like my belly, yeah, what yeah, happened to yeah. my hips, what happened to my career, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Let me know if you hear my voice or you hear your own voice. That's so good. So what is, for for those who have those thoughts, mm-hmm. like what is what are some strategies? Because me, I'm all about strategies. Like, give me the practical steps. That's why I go to the church I go to. I'm like, yeah. practical steps every week. Like, what are practical steps that people can take just on a daily to, like, rewire? I call them, what's it called? Um, John Acuff calls them soundtracks. Mm, I love that. Yeah, it's, it's just like, what are the, sta- the soundtracks? That's what happens between your two ears. Yeah. Like, so how can people change their soundtracks? Like, what yeah. are the things that you would... Suggest. I mean, music's a universal language. Mm-hmm. We all speak music, no matter where Absolutely. you're from, no matter if you don't even speak English. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's important to really be very selective on who you share your most vulnerable sides with. Mm-hmm. You know, so I have two beautiful women who are, mm-hmm. who are known as the Champagne Room, yeah. Astra Lovelace and Jennifer Seif, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, who we made a, uh, an, uh, an intentional decision. Mm-hmm to spend time, Mm -hmm. even if we sit quiet and we call it just like sitting in the mud. Mm. Sometimes you just, I don't even, I don't even need to say anything. You don't need to say anything. We just need to be in the same energy. Yeah. Right. I am a woman of faith Mm -hmm. more so than a woman of religion. Yeah, for sure. So I had to unlearn some of the religious practices that was causing me Mm -hmm. to fear some of the feelings I was having uh, for sake, for fear of I'm going to hell. You know, for sure. (laughs) For fear of yeah, all of that foolery. Tell if you have anxiety, you know? oh, the Bible says no. Right, yeah, but it's and, a natural thing. Yeah, and sure. I love mantras. Yeah, I love mantras. So mm-hmm. let's, we're talking about relationships, mm-hmm. okay? Yeah, um, I had to make some decisions to walk. Yeah, and it's the first time for me mm-hmm. in my forty-six years I've had different types of relationships. Yeah, but that I actually took agency over my heart mm-hmm. and said, "Oh wow, we don't, we're not on the same page." Yeah. Then let's let's not for sure. let's not do that, right? right. Mm-hmm. And and in love and, and in self love. Yeah. But there's a mantra. What to tell? Give us the Julie. Give us the bars. There's a mantra. We need a tea. That <laughs> I memorize. Uh huh. I, I want to say this is this is right here. You know yeah? what? We good. Is this the mantra? We good. Hold on. Is this the mantra that I sent I'm to waiting? you? No, Julie, you never sent it. We never sent it. May we have pun the text? Lord I Jesus. don't know. Oh, I don't God. get the text. Oh God. I'm like the tree no, no, that I'm sorry, <laughs> baby. Oh, no. Okay. May I see it? No, and you can't memorize it. I said it. we're gonna. We're, well, now I'll have it forever. Okay. But it's the one the text. <laughs> so okay. Her name is Faith Jenkins. Okay. Yes. She's married to uh, Kenny Latimer. Okay. <laughs> Who used to be married to Shantae Moore. Okay. 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 So you guys can go get that tea on your yes. own. <laughs> she was Judge uh, Judge Faith. She's like one oh, of okay. unknown and those, you know them Judge yeah, Joe yeah, Brown yeah, and yeah. all them judge yeah, yeah, shows, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So she has a book called Sis Don't Settle. Mm. And it came up the algorithms that must have been complaining to God about some flop relationship. So it mm-hmm. came up. <laughs> so you about, know talk about ones? systems like, and practices yeah. and uh, what'd you say? What was your word again? Formulas. Well, give me the word. You said uh, you like. Which one? What do you like? Would you? What is the? Anyway, how do you basically fix up yourself? You just had a good word. Oh, I don't remember that. okay. Jesus. Anyway, strategy, yeah. strategy, 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 strategy. 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 So, yes. so, um, so she has this. She had this like poem, mm-hmm. but I'm like, no, this is a mantra. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and it's and it's it's sis don't settle. Okay. In her whole book, she you talked about ready, the baga, ready, the baga man that she dated, yeah. the, the, the friends with benefits, the unrelationships, the situationships, yeah, yeah. the having relationships because of the church, having relationships because of the mm-hmm. community, college relationships, all the things. Yeah. And finally, she, she said, okay, no more. Mm-hmm. And this is the mantra. Hmm. It says, I am attracting the highest, truest love into my life. This man is loving, loyal, mm. inspiring, and kind. Mm. I will continue to remain grounded mm. and keep my heart open. I walk away from anything and anyone that does not serve me. Mm. I start over as often as is necessary because I'm not starting from scratch. Mm. I'm starting from experience and from every experience I grow healthier and mature. So I pledge to live now, not wait. I'm committed to excellence in all areas of my life. Mm-hmm. Mm. I continue to get better mentally, spiritually, and physically. Mm-hmm. I honor and cherish myself mm-hmm. and those all around me. Ooh, I'm becoming the best version of myself. Jesus. And I'm attracting someone doing the same. Mm-hmm. And for this, 
I will not settle. <laughs> when I had no mic for drop, so we're just <laughs> on the box. Julie. On repeat. Yeah, because I'm like, first of all, it's memorized. <laughs> it's delivered with passion. And, 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 and you felt, I said sermon dropped. Oh, no, no, I'm waiting on the text, Julie. And yeah, I'm telling myself that every morning. And this is the thing, Amanda, for real. No, as church girls, let's every, go to let's go yeah, church no, girls. Facts. I could say um, John three sixteen for mm -hmm. God to love the world, world and He gave His only begotten Son, that mm -hmm. whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting mm -hmm. life. Yeah, I mean Psalms twenty three, the, Psalms one hundred. But we know these scriptures. Mm -hmm. Most of us aren't necessarily living the scriptures. It's sure. a whole other thing, right? Mm -hmm. So I said this this mantra was like I don't know, might have been eighteen lines. Yeah, yeah I gave yeah. myself one line a week. I'm attracting the highest, truest love into my life. Oh God, I feel so emotional. Yeah, I know, for sure. Mm. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Because I feel, when you say it, you say it with power. You say it with an unction. Like I feel it in my spirit. I, oh, I Even when I didn't mm -hmm. believe it, mm -hmm. I said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even when I didn't believe it, my man, I said it. You put that faith to the test. One line at a time. Mm -hmm. One line at a time. Mm. And even the part that says, I'm committed to excellence in all areas of my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When that part came around, I said, wow, I was letting my heartbreak mess up my career. Yeah. Mess up my health. Mm. Mess up my relationships, my friendships, mess up my faith. I'm committed to excellence in all areas of my life. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to bring this mantra to life. He said, this yeah. man is loving, loyal, inspiring, and kind. How many of us are, are dating people that aren't yeah. even kind? That part. Mm. Aren't even kind. And As my mom will say, don't even give away prayer. Yeah. And prayer is free. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So how long, how, how long did you, how long were you saying that? 18 you, months. Mm. 18 whole months. Until I, the, the confidence mm -hmm. started to build Come where back. it's like, oh, I continue to get better mentally, physically, and spiritually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I honor and cherish myself that, that, and those all yeah. around me. Mm -hmm. But the main thing, that whole poem, mantra, and like instructions, it's instructional. Yeah, for sure. It says, and for this, I will not settle. Mm. Don't settle. It's instructions with a reward. That's right. People feel like sometimes when you have instructions, it's just punishment. And right. Punishment. It's always punishment. Punishment. But this is like instructions with a reward. Of mm. getting back to you. Yeah. The, the original is your you. your best original self. Your original self. Oh, man. That's so And the completely running around with yeah. pampers yeah. and just... Free. Free. Childlike. Free. Play. We yeah. need to get back to the energy of play. Yeah. That's what my 2023 was. Yeah. Play. Yeah. And I... <laughs> it, it, God, Jesus, Julie. Um, it was in... I think that was the first year for me that I felt the furthest from that. Mm -hmm. Like, I yeah. couldn't... I couldn't see joy. And I'm like, this, this is free. Mm. This, my, mm. my father gives this to me free mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, my time, where no. is, <laughs> sorry. Take it, take it, take it. it was just mm -hmm. like, I, I didn't feel that. And I remember. Let me say something. I'm cutting you off right yep, now. Absolutely. Woo! This is what my mentor said to me. Because yeah. you said you didn't feel that. Mm -hmm. And she's a believer. She said, you know why you didn't feel it? Because God isn't a man of, a, a God of feeling. feeling. He's a God of faith. That part. But I had faith. Right. Even. And hope. Yep. Even in the lowest of times. And I, and I shared this actually on the first episode of this season that for the first time I, I was struggling with suicidal thoughts mm -hmm. in 2023. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, 
It wasn't, it wasn't that God was far from me. Mm. It was that I was far from him mm. or I felt far from him. I felt so unworthy of him because I, I felt like for fear of like, like I told you, like, I, I don't want to disappoint him. And I just felt like I did. Mm -hmm. So I just ran. It's like when you, it's like the prodigal son. Yeah. Just ran away. And God was just like, no, it's time. To, the day that's why I was bawling on that stage yeah. because that was my come home moment. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know why I didn't know what it was. And as I went to the house and everything unfolded as it unfolded and I, I kicked my youth out of my house mm -hmm. and I was just like, this is me coming home. This yeah. is me finally taking up my cross and like going back to where God intended for me to be. Like I, I went back to a place of surrender mm. and in the surrender, like sometimes we feel like, because we're well, like, Oh, we feel like you're going to lose yourself, but you actually gain so much more. And it was, it was hard. Yeah, it course. was hard. Of course. It's, there's grief around it. There's, there's fear. So, because there's shedding. There's shame. There's all shame. And for me at the time, because I've been, through, I went through something similar. Yeah. The shame for me at the time was, damn, how, how, how'd, you, how'd you make that decision? You yeah. know better. It was one of yeah, those, you know no better. No facts. You know what like, I mean? How did you get this? How did right. you get this low? Yeah. Like, how did you, how did you get yourself here? Right. And you I definitely this? understand, mm -hmm. like, um, Sometimes, so let's let's bring some joy pivot, back pivot, into it. Pivot, I, need, pivot. I need to bring the joy. We need to pivot, get pivot, rid of the pivot, water works them. Pivot, no, pivot. pivot. So, you're in this joyous season. I am. Where 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 you're happy? Let me just say it like that. Um, no, see, happy happiness is you're, a happiness is a purse. Yes. Okay. So you can put on happy and take enjoying. off happy. You know. Yeah. Yeah. My joy bank is so, overflowing for talk, sure. Talk to me about this season of life for you. Like, where is what what is this season of Julie, and where are you continuing to like go in the year of 2024? Like, what's your I, focus? Yeah, I said to my therapist and mentor mm -hmm. and my two girls. <laughs> I said that I'm going to put as much focus as I have in my career and as successful as I've become into my personal life. Mm -hmm. I, That's so good. I'm a wife. Period. Right? I'm not, yeah. I don't, Period. it's not girlfriend energy. Yeah, no. It's not all those other things, right? Mm -hmm. So... Uh, if that's the case, then yeah. whomever I am need to be with, they mm -hmm. have to be husband material, absolutely, and um, and really grow with somebody, share my life with somebody. Like mm -hmm. I'm really, I think there's been a time where it's been like, mm -hmm. be the healer, you know, yeah. you're the entertainer. Yeah. You have come, Julie, feed me, come, yeah. give me the, give me the formula, give me the, and then, then mm -hmm. finally I'm like, well, what about me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about me now? It's your time. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, and what well, Lisa Washington, who I love, a uh, great friend and mentor, she said, she's like, sis, that's yeah. her voice. She's <laughs> like, there's time and there's timing. Ooh. And it's a, that's a whole other that's podcast. A word. It's a word. That's a word. And it's that the timing is right. Yeah. And what helped the timing become right is mm. me deciding not to settle it's for the breadcrumbs. It's me not mixing up an alpha man and a beta man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's me yeah. like that's how we're gonna have to part two on this. Yeah, I know we're gonna have to because I'm right? like that was my. I'm like let's talk about that. But mm -hmm, go ahead. Yeah, I mean I think if we just simplify it and say, ladies. Yeah. If you think when a man is giving and doing for you and putting it out there publicly that it's him being an alpha, protecting and providing, yeah. it's actually him being beta. Yeah. It's actually more That's about so him good. than about you. Yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. a great friend of mine said, you know what? Most, I mean, alpha men typically are warriors. <laughs> Listen. Right? And they're there to protect the territory. Yeah. And they're not there to punish. They're not there mm -hmm. to... Um, to to basically, you know, inflict more yeah, yeah. pain than more necessary. Pain, exactly. More mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right. So understanding that, I it's what we said earlier about about you know psychology. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like saying, oh man, so wait, when this person just because it's money, a lot of times, yeah, 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 yeah. a lot of Everybody you know equates. men who are labeled alpha yeah. is more about the money. money. Well, no, yeah, it's actually very beta. Yeah. No, An alpha, sure. a true You're, alpha man, right? A true yeah. alpha man who wants to protect and provide. They could be hanging in the back. They don't need to be on a red carpet. Mm -hmm. They don't need to be anywhere in the front, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, for sure. Because I feel like they, they, as much as as much as we nurture them, they, 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 
in a sense, nurture us. Of course. Like, and and of that's course. what we, we we stop looking for reciprocity at some point, like in in the in the ways that we actually need it. Yeah. And started equating it to financial gain. You're and, right. And I'm just like, what, what, what about Listen. the emotional health? Thank what about you. the mental, the sound mind, and Thank being you. in environments of peace? Not only men need peace. Right. I'm sorry. If my life is peaceful before you got Protect here. Protect your peace, yeah. Don't come here and disrupt. Protect mm -hmm. your peace. Shuffle. Yeah. So and therapy. Me, if, you know, yeah. team therapy. Yeah. Team therapy. And that's for men and women. Men and women, of course. Yeah. Let me tell you something right from no. <laughs> As my mama said, what God may love. Yeah. Whomever I end up with. Yeah. We're not waiting for marital no, counseling. No, 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 no. It's upfront counseling, Therapy, Marjorie. In the, in the beginning, who are you? Because we both have intentions. If you're a right. husband and I'm a wife, even in our singleness, uh, uh, is, right. the, we're, the strategy to get to where we want to go there has to be strategy. It has to be strategy. And that has to be and a therapy, vision. Therapy Absolutely. is it's number one. Strategy. It's in the strategy. <laughs> like, it's in the strategy. <laughs> top three. Top three. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. God therapy. Right. Right. Jesus in therapy. God therapy. No, absolutely. Okay. okay so one thing I want to ask you is, mm -hmm. hmm, I wanted to talk about this. We may have to bring this back. You know, well, you know, you, we all, you just call me. No, for sure. Because you know I'm mean? just like, I want to get call into, you know yeah, I, mean? I want to get into, I want to get into, I'm not going to do it this time, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to, I'm going to put this, I'm going to plant the seed, y'all. Because there's lots, you know how. It, yeah, period. But the, I want to get into, because one of the things we connected about mm -hmm. when we, when we, when we met and we went out to, to dinner mm -hmm. or to lunch was, was health. Oh, Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's sprinkle. Let's yeah, sprinkle. let's sprinkle let's it. Sprinkle a little bit. Yeah. And I know um, I told you I was dealing with PCOS. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, what did I say? You overcame it. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I said, Julie, run the plug. <laughs> <laughs> run the play. Yeah. And it was the the, the, the fasting. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that had to do, because I know 100%. that's something. So yeah, like how did, let, let's just sprinkle on it. Okay. We're going to do an episode about this. But right. let's talk about. Not even the PCOS. Let's talk about the 100 Strong and Sexy movement. Oh, my goodness. Talk to me about where that was birthed. It was birthed out of grief, out of pain, mm -hmm. out of loss, out of going to the liquor store and eating <laughs> chips. Like, being the healthiest at one point of my life, mm -hmm. and then my mom dying, and mm -hmm. me say, me just, grief was pinning me down. Yeah. So I had to be radical and just create a movement. And that's the thing. That's the whole part about, mm -hmm. like, committing to excellence in all areas of your right. life. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, how do I really use this as a vehicle? Right. And so the movement was birthed in uh, 2018 okay. and here we are yeah. 2024 all these years later and yeah. it's truly to some for some people this is the only church they know that's it. so mm -hmm. for some people this is the only bible they'll read yeah meaning how you live your life absolutely who are you absolutely. right and so from there a great community was born mm -hmm. and our main thing is restoring faith in female friendships we have not enough time for this. Like, really? we're going to have to come back. <laughs> no, I have more questions. Like, you're opening up 20 doors of questions. Oh, my. But that is what the purpose of the inner circle is. Right. And, I love that. And, and, and the inner circle is, is friendship is a part of it, sisterhood, tribe, but mm. honestly, also just, like, bridging the gaps. Mm. And I feel like with 100 Trying and Sex, you bridge the gap from women who want to do better yeah. to women who decided I love better. that. You know what I mean? I'm going to look at the camera and say this. If yeah. you don't invest in your health, you're going to pay for your sickness. Mm. If you do not invest in your health, you're going to pay for your sickness. We need to be the masters of our fork. Yeah. We're yeah. the only ones. You know what I mean? We said yeah. this last night. Yeah, for sure. Right? So mm -hmm. the whole thing about health and, you know, health is wealth. Optimal health yeah, yeah, is yeah. wealth. Mm -hmm. People are living longer. Yeah. Right? Could you lift up your granny? Yeah. If all technology failed and you needed to walk to the hospital, are you yeah. going to be winded? Yeah. Are you tired going up a set of stairs? Yeah. Like, if you just pay attention mm -hmm. to this great vehicle, yeah. and, I, and, you know, you realize that you, you're going to put premium fuel in there? Yeah. Or are you putting pure regular, yeah, regular yeah, yeah, fuel? Yeah. I'm going to mash up. The, are you one piece of jalopy or are you yeah. a Maybach? Like, what are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you? Yeah. And it's not to say don't have your one-two fun food, but with, the, with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Yeah, yeah. When they told me that I had that, mm -hmm. I said, okay. And I, I created a community to take care of my body. Yeah. Chinese medicine, my, my general practitioner, yeah. endocrinologist, gynecology, mm -hmm. all the things. Yeah, yeah. And then I, it's simp I simply, not simply, but I realized it was mm -hmm. all about insulin regulation. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so 
when I realized, oh wait, my whole family, all my, a lot of my family members have diabetes. diabetes. So mm -hmm. what, is that the road I'm heading yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, no. No, we need to get no, this insulin exactly. under control and mm -hmm. fasting was the key. Absolutely. And here we are. Zero diagnosis, mm -hmm. no polyps, Period. heal up. See? Drop 22 pounds. I received this diagnosis. Yeah, this, I mean. this, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I absolutely. Because they gave a diagnosis, mm -hmm. but God gives the prognosis. That's it. That's it. Right? That's it. You ready? You have so to just I, grill up some more episodes. Yeah, I know, absolutely. Because for me, I'm in I'm in that fight now and I'm and I'm and I'm yeah. on my journey. And so Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna put you on blast. Yeah, okay. She's in the fight, she's on the journey. Oh, Jesus. She has my phone number. Here Julie goes. Okay, we talk. This Julie, a, talk the truth. Things. Stop the things. Stop Julie, the talking. Julie, how is <laughs> Julie? Julie, stop talking. You know, I she's, waiting for, I she's waiting for the, the, the mantra. No, no, no. Yeah. But now we but. ask Julie how long we wait for getting one text. Go from me. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> no, what? Are we, we're fully going on like we're not even on. Like, what do you mean? Julie, you are the worst. I was on Jamrock Cruise, Bridget. Yeah, but, for like a month. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> I got sick. Listen, real talk. No, I hear you though. But at the end of the day, just yeah. in summary, yeah, right. As much as we get these diagnoses and blood yeah, work and this sure. that, when you have someone mm -hmm. who is living a similar experience, yeah, lean on them. Yeah, for sure. Ask questions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and we will do this together. For sure. And that's why I'm, I'm, I have so a... So they might need one of your egg them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, hey. <laughs> might, we might yeah. need one of your egg them, so you better <laughs> just fix up your thing. I, I they know, might right? need one of your egg them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, this egg them a run shot. <laughs> <laughs> egg them a run shot, you see me? <laughs> Now, run all time. Hurry up, man. Listen, don't worry yourself. You're not dry um, um, You're oh not dry um, fresh. <laughs> okay? Oh but you it's know, all tied back in because the whole thing, even that we're talking about to begin with, it was like at the end of the day, this is also a part of becoming that, your best self. Yeah. Like, because when you actually sit with yourself and you realize like you're just shrug and plub and sometimes like, because that's how I felt, I felt like, last give me, year. Give me words again. It's shrug and plub and. <laughs> Stop it. Like you just like it looks like I don't feel optimal. Like and that's I and it. now and you want to. Let me take jump in before we go. Yeah. And recognize everyone that that's not a size. No, it's, it's a, not a size. It's a it's feeling. Feel. It's literally a feeling. Cause right. I remember last summer I probably got to my biggest weight yet. Mm. Emma wasn't even eating. Right, right. It was just the stress I was holding. Right. And I was simply look plum. I said, no, 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 no. And I realized I'm like, as I shedded the dead weight, I started to shed just the excess. Yeah inflammation yeah i'm gonna quote my friend kathy i know they're probably like hurry up and wrap up no, you're good. Um, <laughs> you're one good. thing that she says and mm -hmm. i'll I, I just i give this quote to her mm -hmm. she says when you sometimes when you think you're carrying extra weight mm -hmm. you're carrying extra burden mm. so sometimes we just need to figure out how to drop the burden mm -hmm. as we drop the burden yeah we'll drop the weight yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and i feel like even right now i'm in a birthing season where god is birthing um, some visions out of me. Yeah. So it's like, okay. there's a, there's well, a, call me if money I met. <laughs> Period. <laughs> but I, before we go, I yeah. like to ask these, ask these wrap up questions. Oh, okay. Wrap up questions. Um, so like based on this conversation, what's thing, what's one thing you discovered through this conversation that is needed or cause you sound like you have a solid circle, but it's like, what's one thing that you would encourage people to look for in their circle based off of this conversation? Mm. Based on this conversation, I would say that more of us need to, no different than corporate, mm -hmm. uh, do evaluations. Yeah, absolutely. Evaluate your circle, yeah. internally even. For sure. Hey, like, you know, one of my relationships, I, I, was, I was feeling jealousy mm -hmm. when, I'm going to say it, I was feeling jealousy when Jen was traveling with her other friend group, yeah. but I actually said it to her. I was like, oh. Mm -hmm. You're traveling, and I, I kind of feel left out. And yeah, we just yeah. had this nice conversation no, about sure. it, right? And because that's so, honesty, vulnerability, and honesty. absolutely, yeah, I love that. And I think that I would say the same. I think one thing I'm, I'm learning because, because I've gone through a shift mm -hmm. in my circle, and it's like, what was was like a long term thing. So mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, this is new, and you kind of, I kind of hesitate yeah. sometimes with vulnerability i'm honest yeah. don't get me wrong i'm gonna be real honest with you but yeah. like in terms of being vulnerable of how things kind of make me feel i'm still navigating that part of that process yeah it's good yeah. and then what's one thing you discovered through this conversation that needs to be removed from your circle like from a circle what would you encourage somebody from to my know? circle from just oh. yours or like just even just if you want to encourage somebody like Hey, based on this conversation this is what you should probably remove from your life in order to reach what we've been talking yeah, about yeah i'm 
I think for my I'll just speak to my own yeah, life. For I sure. think within my most amazing vulnerable circle, which is the champagne room, yeah. Jen and Astra, <laughs> I would say that I need to actually continue to trust yeah. that they're they're not going nowhere. Mm. Right? Mm. They they're actually not going nowhere. Yeah. And and it's a beautiful thing to have that in this stage of my life. I feel yeah. very emotional even saying that. Mm -hmm. Um and and continue to do the therapy to heal that trauma. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Last question. Yeah. How did this space make you feel? You know, since I'm young, big cold balling. Julie, so, you have to give up a cold balling. Sorry, okay. she... <laughs> Insert uh, more or something. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, very comfortable. Very okay. comfortable. You know, it's, it's really, it's the space that's right here. Yeah, for it's sure. It's this vortex. Mm -hmm. It's this so I'm, yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm grateful that you. this is manifesting yeah. uh, into what it should be, mm -hmm. whatever that is. Mm -hmm. uh, I got your back. I told yeah. you that from day. Yeah. And I, I consider myself one of your day twos. And I consider oh, yeah. you a day two. <laughs> and people need to look at the value of a day two. Yeah. Because your day twos, you choose. Yeah. That's fact. Day one might have been in kindergarten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And day mm -hmm. ones, are, there's a couple. No, that's, they're... That's, you know what I mean? That yeah, can yeah, still yeah, go yeah. on. Mm-hmm. But you see, when you sign up for the day two yeah. program, mm -hmm. absolutely you move mountains, isn't it? Yeah, watch, watch, run it up, watch, <laughs> <laughs> climb mountain, yeah. barefoot, Listen. climb mountain in a stiletto. <laughs> You're not ready for the mountain I climb. <laughs> me can't do that one day with my foot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that one day. No, me can't do that one. You see that forty six the shoulder. No, boom, sir. Boom. Me need that flexibility. One hundred strong, one hundred strong and sexy. Yes. Yeah, let me come off of this before <laughs> me and Julie just start to just. Turn into a dance hall show. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this episode of The Inner Circle. Julie, it was a pleasure having you. Thank uh, you. I can't wait to do some more of these. I'm excited. You we already have so much know. more to talk about. We can cover it all this time, but we'll get y'all next time. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> until next time, bye. <laughs>